I don't know if anybody's really wondered this as a child. I kind of did a little bit. I wasn't really like crazy about it, but I was kind of curious about what is inside of a Nintendo 64 game cartridge. So I already pried the back of it open. This is pretty much it. I'm not gonna like go crazy breaking it. I think I already have by prying the back off. But this is Paperboy. Um, I don't really know what. I don't want to like go crazy and break it all the parts, but because I don't, I don't like breaking Nintendo 64 games. I never have, not once. As shocking as that might sound. But, yeah, um, I guess this is kind of what's in it. Um, you know what? I'm just going to... I just said I'm not going to break it, but... Let's just... I hit it a few times. Let's see if I kind of... Nope, I just bent the freaking crap out of the metal. Hold on. I got a way to bend it out. It's something to it. These, these dudes could take a lot back there. Hold on. Actually, here, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I'm gonna try to pry this metal part off. Okay, so I did a little bit. I couldn't get it all the way off, but I, hold on, sorry, I'm turning on my flash. I kind of, I, I basically used my hands to bend the metal. It wasn't gonna come off this part. So I just can't, sorry, the flashlight's on, so it might kind of glary but that's like ow. I did this basically so you don't have to break your own Cause these games are awesome even if it is I mean I wasn't a huge fan of it but I still like in 64 games it is it hurt me to break it I'm just saying that I wasn't trying to waste it I just wanted to see I'm guessing that thing I'm pointing my camera at that part I'm gonna guess that's the memory and all that's the components to like make it run, like the graphics and all that. I'm guessing this was to protect the N64 and this from like blowing up. I don't really know. I'm not like a game person, but I'm gonna guess that's where like everything. I don't know, but yep, that's what's inside of a Nintendo 64 game cartridge. Oof. Like always, peace.